Today we're going to have a fairly quick video and this comes from the 1983 American Invitational Math Exam, The AIM. So this is a contest that's in the United States, kind of obviously. So we want to suppose we've got numbers A, B, and C larger than 1 and then a positive number X satisfying the following three logarithmic equations. So we have log base A of X is 24, log base B of X is 40, and log base A times B times C of X equals 12. And then from that, our goal is to find the log base C of X. So just so that we're all on the same page, let's recall the definition of the logarithm in terms of the exponential expression. And generally, if you want to solve anything with a logarithm, it's nice to pass to the exponential world. So if you take log base this yellow box of blue box equals red box, so that's equivalent to yellow box to the power red box equals blue box. So let's use this kind of definition over here and fill the boxes with these parts given by these three equations. So notice this first equation is equivalent to saying that a to the 24 equals x. So we know immediately that a to the 24 power is equal to x. Isn't a 24 like a production company for movies? Maybe post in the comment what your favorite one of those movies is, if it is indeed related to movies. Okay, then let's look at this other one. So the second one says that b to the 40 equals x. So we got b to the 40 equals x. And then finally, this third one says that a times b times c to the 12 equals x. So I'll write that as a to the 12 times b to the 12 times c to the 12 equals x. Great. And then let's notice that our final goal is to determine what number that when we raise c to that number, we get x. So somehow we want to put all these three equations together and solve for c. So probably the first thing that we want to do is take something like the least common multiple of 12, 40, and 24. I think that's maybe our best first bet. So what will that be? So I believe it'll be 120. So that means we can translate each of these to exponential equations having to do with a power of 120 by raising these equations to a sufficient power. So we can raise this to the fifth power. That'll give us a to the 120 equals x to the 5. We can raise this to the third power. So we'll have b to the 120 is equal to x cubed. Then finally, we'll raise this to the 10. So we'll have a to the 120 times b to the 120 times c to the 120 equals x to the 10. Okay, so that's good. Now we're kind of in a really good spot. We can take this value for a and substitute it in here. And then we can take this expression for b and substitute it in here. And I guess I should say this expression for a to the 120 and this expression for b to the 120. So let's see. That's going to leave us with x to the fifth times x cubed times, let's see, c to the 120 equals x to the 10. Now, putting this together, x to the 5 times x cubed is x to the 8. Dividing that over, we're allowed to divide that over because x is not equal to 0, will give us x squared equals c to the 120. In other words, we have c to the 60 equals x, kind of putting things in a slightly different order. But that's an exponential version of a logarithmic equation exactly related to this. So this tells us that the log base C of X equals 60, which that indeed was our final goal to find the log base C of X, and we have done it. And that's a good place to stop.